returning come sit down so this type of stretching that i'm trying to promote in the um in the tai chi in the internal tai chi of that expand but relax and holding that expansion right so feeling your foot fully pressed into the earth you go. let me get back a little bit sorry the foot fully pressed into the earth so you have to have that full contact the whole bottom of the feet sinking and connected and then just focus on the bottom of your feet pressing into the earth so you, you let go of all these joints but everything has to surge yeah? and you're holding that the whole time spreading out the toe relaxing while you're pressing and that imagery of it sinking into the earth like mud right like quicksand and the whole leg just sinking and getting heavier and heavier so you're holding that stretch and expansion with with some um, intent the whole time <laughs> gotta have one <laughs> Yeah, the whole time holding that if you hold that for an hour the whole period we're doing it when you get up yeah it's very different you've exercised but that fascia uh, you know all that muscle fiber the fascia fiber has been held in that light subtle stretch and you don't realize it's getting longer and longer and longer and you're releasing a lot of tension and you're opening up a lot of things yeah. so that movement is different from but when we do this type of movement right, where that muscle is contracting and we're making that fist and we're coming out we need that kind of movement too but this kind of movement that we're training is just it's just lengthening the muscles right adding adding uh, slowly you can add more and more weight so if i do it right getting learning to do it just from the weight of my body until it's light Right, and then I could take a, a weight or something like this one. This one is nice. It's only one or two pounds. And if I, if I have a little bit of pressure, I have to recreate that same lightness. But even that little bit of weight, right, is off balance me here. So it forces me again to work on everything, but having resistance now. Right, my shoulder is getting sore. I'm starting to lift. Oh, I have to drop this down. I have to drop my elbow. I can't extend quite as far right? it's putting too much pressure here I have to drop that down and maybe I'll fold the elbow in a little bit and as it gets stronger then I can extend out right? and until I can get that full extension not over extension but that full extension everything's a little bent right? then I could add right? and even holding it up is different right palm up is a little different from palm down right? um, if I had a weight like this I could, and this one has that band. So if I slid the weight in closer to my center, right, it'll be a little bit easier. So that's one way to increase the weight. Just by sliding it further out, that increases the weight on my body, right? What I feel makes it heavy on the arm. So this holding, this elongation and with the intent, just with the mind and the E, stretching the muscles, but relaxing, stretching, relaxing, stretching, relaxing, and holding that. The fingers, or the palms, right? it's just the fingertips, you want to imagine, just the fingertips stretching and stretching. The feet are pressing, but then it's kind of the same thing, because the toes have to press down. If, the t if, you don't, if you just think of pressing the feet, you're probably doing this, right? You're trying to get the center, but the toes are probably lifting up. So you have to press the toes down and then sink the whole foot. So you get the whole bottom from the toe to the heel trying to sink into the earth. And then you have to let go of the, the pelvic area, the claw, right? the spine. Everything just has to expand. So you, you become this expansion. Okay? We go back and we play with names. Like tai Chi is the grand ultimate. The grand ultimate is the Tao. Right, so we say Tai Chi is, is Tao, Taoism because Taoism is studying nature it's, in a simple explanation it's a study of nature what is nature doing? it's constantly expanding what is our galaxy doing? constantly expanding, right? <laughs> so if we're trying to simulate nature then we have to constantly expand 
So your body is your universe, your body, your organs, your heart, that's your solar system. Right? Our world is our galaxy. So everything is constantly expanding. Okay? So we expand, but like our solar system, everything follows the sun, everything moves together. Okay? So we're studying everything in relationship to everything else, and we're saying it's this many miles apart, it has this cycle. While we study that, we forget that the sun and is constantly, right? The planets and the sun is constantly rotating and revolving and moving and traveling together. That's what our body is doing, right? When we take a step, our solar system is traveling together. We want to make sure that everything moves and rotates around our sun. So your heart, your heart is your sun. Okay. So when I talk about Connecting, putting that little sun in your, your chest, connecting that sun to the sun in the sky, right? It's, it's reminding you to take energy from the sun, but expand your heart, right? So depending on how you look at it, I, when I say sun, I'm talking about your heart, right? So the solar system is reflex your organs your heart is the sun your liver your kidneys the stomach all of that is jupiter mars earth right venus and so on right and then we got all those little things right <laughs> rolling around asteroids and comets right that go in and out and rotate right your blood travels all over the nerves we send signals all over right and then if you if you read the news they said in um, was it 2014 there was a comet or asteroid that passed by Earth, and they said, you know, they think this is it. It came from outside of our solar system, right? and that's a big, that's a really big thing. So, for us, that could be disease, right? Every day things invade, and we need to just be able to take care of that and get it out. But if those external things stay and cultivate in our body, that becomes disease. So every day we have cancer, right? Cancer is foreign bodies that get a hold and they multiply and they become a part of us. So every day our body needs to be healthy to combat all those foreign bodies, all that foreign um, invasion into our own lungs, our bloodstream and such, right? and our white blood cells. So when we do the Tai Chi, we're trying to keep our body in balance and can manage our system. But on top of that, really, if, if we want to be able to hold 100 pounds, we have to build up the muscle for that kind of capacity. <laughs> so that's where this comes in. Okay? That's where this kind of mus muscular development comes in. But at the same time, it requires this kind of muscular development too to be able to relax and coordinate and to, for our foundation to be, to be um, steady. Okay? So if we do all of this and we get really strong up here, but our foundation is weak, we can hold a hundred pounds, but everything's shaking. <laughs> but if we're stable and we're building this, then we can hold a hundred pounds and learn how to sink and be stable and learn how to channel that into the earth and not fight everything. So um, with, with that, let's, Let's review our, our teacups. So you can do it seated or standing. All right, so Miss Chin, why don't you join us with teacups? Well, that's and the baby that's that's Mr. okay. Presents. That's okay. We're gonna do it afterwards. We already gave it to them. Oh, okay. yeah, so put that down and we'll do teacups. Yeah, we haven't just done this for a long time. So I'll leave Okay, we can play with. So whatever you have lying around can be a stick or chopstick, can be a wooden spoon, fan, if you have the ball or whatever. But we'll just review the teacups. You can do it seated? Okay. Campbell soup can. Yeah, it yeah, can be Campbell soup can. <laughs> it can be more sophisticated than that if you want. <laughs> it can be anything. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we'll start with the hands at the side and just review, okay, and then turn. Oh, let me let me adjust this. Sorry. 
I, I take my webcam now to um, Papukulea, so I kind of forgot what my adjustment, where it's supposed to be. Sorry. Okay, let's see if that's a little better. Okay. So, all right, so the hands at the side. Same thing, relax. If, you, if you're standing, a little bend in your knees, a little bend in your claw, and same thing, feet are resting and lightly pressing, right? Press your toes first, and then tuck your tailbone under, so you swivel the pelvic forward, but keep it bent from there, yeah? And just draw the hands through your waist, the fingertips, drop your arms and come up, right? And circle. And just breathe and just relax, loosen up all the joints. And as you come here, let the, let the arms rub, rub the body. Okay? So let it stimulate and rub. A little bit of massage, a light massage first. And breathe and you could get, you could press a little bit more if you wanted to focus on the massage. First is going back, and then from back we come forward. Okay, so we come forward, rising, fingertips out, and like scooping behind you and drop the arm and come through the waist, and then rise. So same thing right from here. Let the, let the inside of the form brush the body, massage the body. And then at any time, if you wanted, you could pick up something in your hand to add a little bit of more resistance if you wanted. But doing double palm is just a nice warm up, right? Forward and backward. If you want to do, I don't know, 10, 10 times, 8, 10, 15, whatever you're comfortable with. And let the body fold and unfold, right? So, as I come up, I can feel my body wanting to flex a little bit this way. And as I come back, I can feel my body wanting to flex a little bit this way. So it doesn't have to be big, large, overt movement, but let the, let the joints move. Feel how the joints want to move. Feel how the knees want to move in and out when you stand. Okay, and then back again. Yeah, we haven't done teacups for a long time. If we do teacups, then we can do a little sword form <laughs> with a stick or a fan or whatever. Yeah. So just feel how your arms undulate. So just forward and back. So the first movement, just reminding yourself the teacups, the basic teacup is forward and back movement. Everything starts to expand from there. Yeah, then I'll go to one, one hand. I'm just gonna rest a little. If you need to, just shake it out and swing your arms. Yeah. My shoulder joint over here is actually a little so sore. I'm still recovering from somebody overstretching it. And I should have, it's my fault. I should have stopped and said, oh, too much. Yeah. So just keep both arms rested and then just do one side. When you do one side, you wanna really turn your waist. Just drop the hand and come through, turn. And turn, extend the arm, and then fold at the elbow. And then that light circle and scoop, and then back. So turn, just let it drop, and then turn, extend the arm, and fold, and turn, and come back. Okay. Just breathe naturally, and feel yourself turning right from the center, right from the spine. Just take your time as the hand comes out, comes forward, and then back. Cutting and massaging the body, folding. And notice how I let my body turn, right? So as my body turns, that helps to swing the arm for me. I want to make sure my other arm is just resting right on the hip. The 
palm open. Okay, so same thing. Then we're going to switch to front. So I'm going to turn. That's going to project my palm forward and turn my waist and start to turn my palm and turn back and turn, dropping the arm and then rising. So turning the waist, and turning and turning. So my palm is just spiraling, starting from up and spiraling down. Letting it rub my body. Breathing naturally. Sternum is up. My feet are still sinking into the earth. Just relaxed. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to just rest and take a breath. Reset everything and then do the other side. So back first. Turn, extend, turn and fold. And turn and scoop and come back to the front. So drop down. Rotate the whole arm and turn and fold to so the elbow leads and then the heel of the palm and fingertips. Yeah. Take a nice deep breath. And as you come back, exhale and blow right across your arm. Right here, blow across your arm, exhale. In. Nice deep breath and exhale. If you breathe like that, you feel your you feel your abdominals have to work. They have to expand for that breath, and then they tighten and push down. So if you add that kind of breathing in, it's a little abdominal work. Reverse the direction. Okay, so relax and then I'm going to come forward. So rising forward and then turning, scooping and dropping the arm and turning. I always think it's interesting because rising and going back really feels different. Can just really feel a different kind of spiral coming out. So turn and then it comes back and then turn and then rub against my stomach again and turn, start rotating my palm and turn my, my hand kind of scoops. Right? As I turn, it's going to scoop back and drop it down and then come through my waist, turn and it opens. And keep my feet flat on the floor. Relaxing the knees and the hips so all the joints can easily bend and follow the movement. And so coming out here, my palm is constantly rotating throughout this whole movement. Palm is constantly moving, stretching and turning. Right? So if I don't turn my waist, my palm is constantly turning. That's that's what it's doing. It's turning, but I want to turn my waist. I want to turn from the center. When you turn from the center. It feels like your arms are just moving up and down the whole body. Okay. I'm going to do one more and then just relax for a little bit. Just let everything go. Just shake everything out. Okay. Loose circles front and back. Okay. Shake everything out. Yeah. If your knees are really stiff, right, if you're not allowing them to, if you're not keeping them in alignment and 
compressing and relaxing, your knees start hurting, right? take some time to shake them out and just flex them a little. As you relax, right? they shouldn't hurt. And the, sh the circles, they'll move, but the circles should get smaller and smaller as you understand how to align your body and keep that there. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's hold an object, any object you have, any object you have. Doesn't matter. You can hold a ball. And so, it can be a small ball, a tennis ball, it can be a weight, soup can. It can be a small stick or a large stick. And a hold a stuffed animal, hold a stuffed animal, right? You can <laughs> swing a stuffed animal around, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so same thing, just holding lightly with the hands, and drawing it through, doing one side first, doing the same thing except holding an object and relaxing. And just holding an object, you can feel how you have to adjust a little bit. Still doing the same thing, still turning from the waist. It doesn't matter what that object is. If the object is small, or if the object is long, or light or heavy, same thing, just take your time. Allow your body to make the adjustments. If it's heavy, make the movements a little smaller. But it will emphasize if it's heavy, right here you have to drop the hand, right? Just let it swing down. Coil back. And then come forward when you're ready. Same thing. And it's interesting to hold a stick or something because your mind starts to project to the tip. Or whatever the, the tip is, right? Not here but you extend you stand out especially as you rise you can really feel yourself leading with the tip of whatever you're holding you just feel like this tip is is moving and just imagine it's moving and you're dragging it's dragging you along and you're just following them If you move from the center, if you drive everything from the center, right, your, your body becomes a little heavier. Um, the foundation is just a little uh, more solid feeling. But if you lead from the tip, it just lightens up and it's like, like it's just dragging you along, that kind of feeling. Yeah? You're just being dragged along. So you can't hold it too tight. You're still rotating from the center. You're still relaxed and grounded, but your mind is imagining it's pulling you along like a little insect. Imagine, right? That's like a little bee or an insect, and you're just, it's just dragging you along. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to reverse, I'm going to go back. Okay. And then that feeling changes again, right? Because now you're leading with, with this side. Here it's like catching something, right? Like you're catching something or catching something. It's just a different kind of feeling. When I come back, I can feel that rotation from the center initiating the movement a little bit more. Right? Because now the tip is following right? the, the end. I'm going to do one more and switch to the other side. Okay, so since I'm holding one fan, I'm just going to pass it to the other hand and do the other side. And because I'm holding something now, right, I can't brush and massage my body. I'm going to whack myself right from here. So that initiates that just naturally I have to turn that away. Okay, so holding an object, just let the body adjust. So from here, I'm leading more with the end here now, if you're holding the stick. If you're holding that ball, if you're holding an object like this, it's feeling the center down, that weight, trying to keep it centered and through the body, right? no matter which way I go. When I come here, that weight, I have to drop my shoulder. When I come here, it really forces me to drop the shoulder and anchor and center. 
holding a weight. So yeah, every object you hold will, will train you a little differently because it requires a little bit different um, emphasis to adjust to, to that. Do a couple more and then switch to rising to coming forward. So right here I'm gonna turn and come forward, rising. Right, so now I'm leading with the tip. So imagine again like that fly or something pulling you along and just trying to keep up with it. Turn the waist. Bye bye. You turn the waist, you won't you shouldn't hit yourself, you shouldn't stab yourself. <laughs> Okay, come join us to finish the class one. So you can grab something here. You can use this fan. Yeah, you keep, we're doing teacups. Teacups on your left hand. I know I have another fan here somewhere. One day I, I'm gonna have to have that garage sale. <laughs> for all the implements okay. and then back again just a few times back okay so just relax shake everything out so um doesn't matter what you're holding right an object or something but uh Let's see. So let's just add some walk, walking to, to the teacups and we'll just walk in place. Uh, yeah, just stand up and do it. Stand up and do it. So, you know, every, everything is simple, right? So you start by standing and then just start by shifting one leg in front of the other, that kind of, that kind of thing. So um, if, you're holding, if you're holding the object with the right hand, let's start by stepping up with the right hand. Okay, so step forward. So um, if you have the fan, you can open the fan and you can leave the fan closed, right? So start by sitting back first, right? So right from here. So, so right hand, for me, right hand, right hand. If you're doing left hand, then left hand. But I'm gonna come back and then I'm going to do the teacup turn and as I come to the top I'm going to shift forward again right? and then as I come down right, draw back and turn turn and then come forward and then sit back so come forward on the top and there's a the hand fall sit back and turn right? so as I come back I'm going to turn Again, this, I'm using my, this is my right hand, so I'm turning to my right, same side. So from there, you can, you can just kind of add that simple step, right? So that step, the back leg can step, draw back, right? This can release and step, and turn. Every time you shift, you can just take that step, walking in place. Turning the waist, right? Turn, turn, just let the whole body turn. Turn, turn, step. So when you step, force yourself 100%. So you might even take a little pause, are you balanced? Or as I come back, I might take a little pause here. Am I fully balanced? Yeah. If you're in the chair, you can still express yourself. You have feeling that you're still coming forward and you can still feel yourself anchoring, anchoring down there. You can still walk in place on the chair, yeah? So, but you see how much I'm turning, turning, and then stepping. The back leg is released and turning. So there's still, even though I'm only stepping back and forth, there's still a lot of coordination, right? Loosening everything up from here. 
the other hand is really it can be here or it can just be released but I don't like to leave that other hand down right? when I do this kind of forms I want the other hand alive and participating so I tend to just gently rest it here I could just rest it on my tantin but it's alive right it's just waiting it's relaxed but it's still alive it's still participating in the motion right Right, so if we go back, then same thing, we have to come forward. Right? So come forward and turning, and sitting back. So if I shift all my weight to one leg, right, my body is turning. Right? And as you do this, don't worry about the coordination. Oh, I'm stepping forward or backward in the wrong direction. Just move. Just, just let your body turn. And just let your body turn. Okay? And then at any time you can switch hands. Yeah, the only thing we're doing right now is uh, the leg forward is the leg is the same side holding, holding whatever you're holding. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to to my other side so I get that symmetry. Right, and start back, so back, drop, and then turn, and then shift forward, and as I come up, and sit back, and come to the side. Sit back, forward, okay. sit back, step, 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 turn the waist, turn the waist. Let the waist turn. Let the waist turn. 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 There you go. Turn. Free this leg. Free this leg. Turn. Come forward. Free the back leg. Turn the waist. There you go. Step back. Free this leg. All the weight here. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I, I got off. I got off sync there. Okay. So back. Right, turning, right, you, see, you can see my weight free, it's like forcing myself to anchor myself, and then the back weight freeing. Right. So have that little pause when you pick up the legs, so you're not leaning and fighting. Right, so you're, you're nice and steady, and then step, pick up the, the leg, right, make sure you're nice and steady as you're doing the movement, and get that little rotation. So. How, how much do you bend down? Start with the little, and it's what's comfortable for you. If your knees are hurting, then don't, don't go a lot and check your alignment. Right? Are you bent too far forward? Is, are you locking your joints or are you allowing movement? Okay. All right, so, so just to review again, right? the first movement is back. It comes, draws back and turn. And as you come to the front, shift forward right, and then back okay and then you can reverse so coming forward turning and then back same thing so drawing back sitting back right the arms down drawing back sitting back if you reverse the movement just naturally spontaneously don't worry about it just keep going with it right this is we're just doing a structured form Structured form is just to, to learn and practice. Okay. So, um, advancing, right? We want to walk. So instead of walking in place, we have to be able to shift and then step, right? And walk in place. So in the beginning, you're going to move like the chameleon or praying mantis, where it's not just walking, 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 right? You're going to walk and shift. Right, and then step up and shift and have that back and forth movement and then shift and there's a slight turn so before if my feet are facing you straight right, before my back leg can step up this leg has to turn out and this is part of what they like to call tai chi walk right? it comes from the, um, the brush knee step so as I sit back as I sit back that allows me to easily turn the front leg Right, so as I sit back, I can turn the front leg and then turn my waist 
and then I can step up. Then I sit back, I can turn the front leg, and then step back. Yeah. Okay? So, just kind of practicing the leg first. So, if I step back and pick up the front toe and then turn to the outside, let the whole leg turn. And as I sit down, turn my waist, keep on turning. And then the back leg can step up and then shift forward and sit back and free the front toe and turn to that side and relax. Knee and ankle should be relaxed and I can step up and I step forward. Right? And then I rock back a little bit, free the front toe and turn, turn and turn my waist and keep on turning as I turn and bring my back leg up with me and here. Yep. So set forward, back, forward, back. Okay, so if we do it with the fan slowly. Okay, so same hand, I'm holding, I'm holding the object, I'm stepping forward. Okay? So I sit back. As I'm sitting back, I'm going to turn that leg out. I'm going to turn, come forward, step up, okay? a teacup, okay? come forward. As I sit back, pick up my front leg and turn and turn my waist okay, and step up okay. as I sit back and turn out turn the front leg and shift hands up and here okay. I'll face the other way So I'll start forward, and sit back, see the front leg, I can turn, turn the leg, turn the waist, come up, and step forward. I sit back, free the front leg, turn out, turn my waist and shift forward, step up. Yeah. Sit back, and turn, and right over here, all of this has to bend as you turn, this bends, body is upright, right? relax, and step forward. Yeah, better, I like that. Come forward, as you sit back, the front leg turns, and then come forward. So, one of the things that she wasn't doing and then she did is all of this has to fold, right? This has to fold, so you have to be upright but relaxed. Right? So as you're stepping, you don't want to lean in any one direction you want to keep the body upper body upright just sitting on the lower body sitting on the hip on the pelvic joints okay so just about out of time so we just practice that walk and then um next time if you remind me eventually i want to get to the circle walking or something and so eventually without sitting back right it'll just be stepping forward and stepping forward and stepping forward and you still kind of feel that pause in between it might not sit way back but you still kind of feel that little pause where you would step back you just wouldn't show it as much yeah so uh, either hand either hand right so forward back turn right here let the this leg turn step forward sit back Turn, step up, okay. relaxed upper body, sink, yeah, relaxed upper body. So her body is moving this way, and that's what's causing the, causing that imbalance, right? So every time I sit back, I want to turn so I can step up. Okay. As I'm hooking to the front, I'm stepping up. As I sit back, I want to turn my front leg out and then turn my whole body, relax the upper body, and then I can step up. So turning out, turning my waist, sitting back, turning, relax, and keep the upper body nice and upright, and turn, and sit back and turn, and I can step up, and turn, sit back, and turn, front leg, and turn. So 
I'm in a small space. If you have a long place you can walk, right? Then you can do that. But if um, I'm in a small space and I, I don't want to have to stop and turn around or shift, and I just want to walk into place, I, I want to keep, I want to stay in a small little box, right? So here, as I step up from here and shift, I'll slide that leg back. And so turn, I step forward, and then I slide the other leg back. Turn, step up, and then slide the other leg back. Yeah. So then I can still have the continuous motion, but in a small box. And I could still be walking in place. And instead of continuously stepping up, I just have to adjust by sliding back. Back and forth, back and forth, okay? So, um, yeah, let me just show you that a little bit. Uh, the, I'll face the front first. And I'm just walking in place and turning, and stepping up, so not a big step, and then slide back, turning, right? Not a big step, and adjust back, turning. So the feet are just going back and forth not interrupting the upper body motion. If you can see me slightly releasing, I like to have that slight release around. In fact, I can step back and if I wanted to turn. Yeah, so there's no, you have to step this way, right? You, you adjust to your body, yeah? So as you come here, as you come to the outside, you have to turn. And what will happen is, as you get relaxed, and as you learn the movement, right, you just kind of naturally start stepping. And in the beginning, that'll mess you up because you're trying to strictly hold a certain format, right? <laughs> <laughs> but really what's happening is your body is learning the movement, you're getting comfortable and you just kind of spontaneously start learning the movement. Right? So as I come back, I'm leading with the, the bottom of the fan, the bottom of the stick. Right? It's like I'm coming back, I'm hooking. Yeah. I'm constantly leading with the bottom as I come back. Right? If I come forward, I'm constantly leading with, with the tip. Same thing, just kind of walking in place, rising. Yeah. yeah, rising a little bit different. So just take your time and with the steps, don't worry too much about if you're doing it, if you're coordinating and synchronizing correctly or incorrectly. Yeah. Coming forward is rising and coming out is it just feels different. So you just take your time and then eventually just kind of fall into place. But coming back and dropping down, stepping up and coming up, turning, right? coming back and dropping down. <laughs> it's, it's just practice, it's just repetition getting used to the movement um, you know sometimes this is too tight and that's messing it up so slowly as everything starts relaxing and if it gets too much stop walk away and then come back and loosen up yeah, and such but sometimes just um, just do the leg just do the hand right no object with an object and then slowly put it together and and blend it with that okay so fan is fun because you can keep it closed, hold it open. You could hold it closed and open right, while you're doing the movement. Right. Right, I could open, I could close, open, close. Yeah. So um, that feeling of hooking comes. I'll give you a little demonstration. 
here. Hold. So if she's holding here, it's that feeling, if I'm coming down, not stabbing, but hooking, hooking right over here. So if she holds up here, we just kind of relax and follow me. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait for me, wait for me. There. So you can see from here, if I don't have the fan, I have to use my, my palm and come up here, you know? So, but if I use the fan, this part right here, so it's that feeling, right, like coming down, right, right, this, right? It's, it creates this pocket here. Grabby V. Yeah, and I turn, right, and I lift, right? And then right here, I'm gonna rotate back and continuous motion. So right here, that feeling that you're hooking something and you're just bringing it out of the way. From here. Oh, here, you can try that. A little looser. So here, right, you go teacup, right? It's gonna come here, you're gonna teacup. Yeah, come out, yeah. Right, and constantly, no, 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 you're gonna hook. See right there, you're gonna yeah. hook. Hook me, yeah. Rotate, yeah, and then hook me again, yeah. yeah. Hook me from here. See, so to hook, this has to come out like this, right? Mm -hmm. If you keep it, if you keep it like this, then you're not going to get that. Okay, so you're leading with that, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see all of you. Hey, come here and help me. Pock, stab the eye. <laughs> Be careful. Take care of your partner. If you're worried about that, hey, put on some safety glasses. <laughs> but when you do stuff like that, you can see the um, you can see the marshal coming out. Right? If I'm holding the fan, coming out, and from here, right, the eyes. Yeah, you see that. And even your hand, right? You can see how. I can if still I, do yeah, it. Yeah, she can do that to me. So it's an interesting push hands yeah, as you exchange. Okay. But this is not a martial arts class. <laughs> okay, come and sit down. Come and sit down. We'll close class. But that feeling, you do want that feeling like you're kind of catching something. And if you fight with up here right oh you can't you have no leverage but if you fight with here or you lead with here right you're kind of leading with the end here but you're turning from here and anchoring right every and turning your waist oh you just feel that nice leverage of controlling something and just circling and circling so if you if you held a stick right, the same thing you, you could make something where you have a just a light little stick projecting out out at you and you can just practice turning and you would just start rotating endlessly around around the end of that object <sighs> okay extend both legs lightly Stretch everything up oh, and down let's do one more time connect remind yourself open the top of your head connect way up just flow all that clean, clean universal energy down through your body, connecting, displacing the earth chi. One more time. And after this time, just rest your hands on your lap. Gently close your eyes. Let all the tension go. Relax the face. Open the joints. Relax the throat and the chest and open the throat, open the heart, sun in the chest, smiling.
slowly open your eyes. Rub your hands together, loosen up your joints. Oh, brush your scalp. Tap the back. Just the fingertips, pull that muscle away from, from the neck joints and the cervical. Looking all the way up and down. Just take your time. Just relax your arms, relax your elbows. Just use the weight of the arms and the fingertips. Sometimes both palms are pulling, sometimes only one, and sometimes back and forth, up and down. All right, and cupping outside, top, inside, underneath. So that but you know what's nice you know it was really a nice scene but you know you feel the anxiety yeah you're in a room full of people at a party hardly anybody's wearing their mask and you can't you can't wear mask when you're eating and you see people wearing masks at some points and then taking off masks at others and <laughs> right it's so local it's all that hugging and kissing and you just get some of that anxiety like, I don't know these people. I've never seen them in my life. <laughs> it's insane. But, but in the end, it was just so nice. Yeah, just so nice. Just so happy. I mean, can't imagine you sitting there for four hours of just this aloha. Uh, just, um, you forget what it is. Oh, interesting enough, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll pass this link on to Riva and Susie. Susie. Because, you know, we always talk about aloha. And we always talk about what does it mean. And next, next weekend,